Of course, we got to see the zenith in Minecraft. Look at this thing. The Goblin Tinkerer. He looks just as nerdy as always. Here we go. Now, this is the purple I'm messing with here. Who doesn't love Elytra Wings? Hey, yo, everyone. Welcome back to another Terraria in Minecraft video. We are checking out some more resource packs, texture packs, whatever you want to call them, of Terraria stuff, and we're going to put it in Minecraft. So we got a couple of things here to look at. Uh, hopefully, I don't go over anything that I've gone over in the past so i might accidentally but let's start with the ones at the very top here we got gear plus terraria edition so what does this add i'm assuming it adds in a majority of weapons from terraria into minecraft via resource pack and it just you know overrides whatever weapons they need to override and they look gigantic they look true to size at least so uh you know let, let's start with this one apparently there's over 500 and counting that's honestly pretty insane shout out to all of these people all right we are in minecraft here and this resource pack does things in a very specific way well i guess most resource packs are starting to do this now and i'm just admiring the seed imagine if i got the seed when i was playing like a survival world this is a dope ass seed what the hell <laughs> But yeah, we take an anvil and then we take any sword. I don't know if we need a name tag or not, but I'll, I'll, I'll take one out anyways. I can't spell. And then we put it in and then we apparently just name it what the terraria items are named. So does this work? Oh god, am I, am I doing this right? Is it copper sword or is it copper short sword? It is copper short sword and it's also copper broadsword is the one I actually want to see. There you go. Look at that. So it doesn't actually replace any textures in game, which I think is cool. But at the same time, I just kind of wanted to look at all the stuff because there's over 500 textures and I didn't want to have to go through it like this. But this works anyways. Look at this, though. I don't know why I chose the copper broadsword. I guess it was the easiest one to spell. But let's go. Let's go deeper. Let's get a netherite sword. So we got that good durability and let's do something crazy. Let's do Meow Mir. I'm not even going to check if Meow Mir is available. I'm going to just type it in. OK, did I spell it wrong? I don't think I spelled it wrong. It's i did something wrong somewhere i went wrong oh there you go okay so what it doesn't work on netherite swords okay apparently it doesn't even though the the guide i have next to me says it does but look at that meow mirror i would say that's fairly true to size i don't know i don't really pay attention to the size of swords in terraria i don't even remember the last time i used meow mirror if i'm being honest but i guess let's check out all the cool swords uh there's also on top of swords there's spears bows there's a bunch of stabs and stuff i mean i'll, I'll put up what you can get on the screen uh there's also shields fishing poles i feel like i said that already pickaxe you can turn into drills there's a bunch of stuff of course we gotta see the zenith in terraria or of course we gotta see the zenith in minecraft look at this thing it, it just swings it doesn't do any of the cool stuff that the zenith actually does but still it's cool to see it in another game there's even some weapons that aren't even in actual terraria as in they were removed or never added in in general like the ice mort which is a very very cool unused weapon look at this thing this thing is long as hell but yeah before we move on to our next uh resource pack let's just go ahead let's check out axes pickaxes and all this uh might as well check out fishing poles to shields so obviously I, shields are kind of the ones that i really want to see i, I want to see what they look like in 3d so of course we got to do the pick saw come on okay i'm not understanding how this works sometimes okay Okay, I can't get the pick saw to work at all. I'll try something else, I guess. I can't get any of the other pickaxes to work, so we'll move on to axes now. Okay, the axes work. We got the vortex ham axe. Very beautiful. Uh, next, let's go ahead. Let's try the fishing rod. There we go. We got the chum caster. Now, this one, we actually get to, you know, use in game here a little bit. Uh, we get to see its model move around and stuff. And it works exactly how I expect it to work, like a fishing rod. And let's see the shield. Now, the shield I'm kind of hyped about because I'm going i'm going straight to the uh sergeant united shield oh my god sergeant united shield look at this thing oh it's got a three oh that kind of looks weird now that i look at it but it still looks cool at the same time it gets really small when i block i don't know about that one i can't even see when i block but the fact that it works is just cool i gotta see all the shields now okay maybe not all of them but a majority of them so there is no aya cthulhu shield on this list but there is the ankh shield there you go there's that we got the frozen shield the paladin shield and we got the hero shield 
person let me just see what these look like on in person i don't know if they'll be small or what oh yeah they they just get really small like they look fine like this but when you block they get really tiny which is a little upsetting uh because you can barely see when you're blocking with that i don't know if that's a better thing or not because honestly shields in minecraft they kind of take up a lot of space but yeah very cool resource pack it's kind of weird how some things work some things don't work i don't know maybe i just did something wrong but yeah check it out you can rename your favorite netherite sword into one of your favorite terraria weapons okay so let's move on to our next texture pack here um i kind of want to do big ones first and then we can kind of do the uh, smaller ones all together so the only other big one that i think is somewhat big well actually i think we can honestly do all these together we got the terraria villagers resource pack and uh, as you can see they're looking snazzy they're looking how i expect them to look so let's go ahead let's download this and let's try it out all right i have our villager slash npc lineup here we got the guide who i believe is just the uh, nitwit very nice look at him don't remember his nose being that big though in fact i don't remember all their noses being this big i don't know why are they all facing this way we have the cyborg he is the i don't know i don't keep up the current day minecraft stuff but there's the cyborg we got the tavern keep or bar keep something like that uh, his eyebrows are still big in this game very nice they're very big in dungeon defenders too uh, which i might do a video on in the future and show off the terraria stuff in that i feel like that'd be a cool idea uh quote me before somebody steals the idea we got the pirate look at his luscious beard and his fat ass nose <laughs> i swear that you can get rid of their noses i feel like i've seen texture packs that get rid of their noses we got the witch doctor the witch doctor is probably my favorite looking one it looks very very detailed all around uh seems to be the loudest one actually they're all pretty damn loud we got the dryad looking as beautiful as always she's kind of hidden inside the box so it's kind of hard to tell we got the angler the angler is a little tall he's a little tall he's supposed to be a child uh maybe if i did a baby one it would look better here let me see will, will that baby one turn into an angler uh, probably not we got the arms dealer looking good we got the uh, clothier is that how you say it? clothier i feel like i always say that word weird and different every time we got the wizard he he looks pretty cool too I, i'm putting him up there with the witch doctor he, he looks great in minecraft uh this guy i feel like might make make the most sense oh he's actually shorter than everyone else wait no i'm tripping it's just he's standing on a shorter block but the demolitionist he looks great we got the die trader also looks cool the steampunker looks a lot different in this i don't know about that maybe it's just because her hat's not super tall and we got last but not least another favorite of mine even though i hate his guts in game the goblin tinkerer he looks just as nerdy as always uh there was one of them that i just straight up didn't know how to spawn in and that was the the truffle and then there's the traveling uh salesman i'm gonna see if the if the truffle is a pillager okay he isn't what about a vindicator okay he isn't I have no idea how to spawn in the truffle. I'm pretty sure the page didn't say how to either. Can I spawn in the tra the traveling sailor, wandering trader? I said, I said sailor. Boom! Look at him. He looks exactly the same. What the fuck? This is what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this one. I like this one. This is definitely a nice addition. Uh, the only, my only pet peeve is their noses. I swear I've seen a resource pack slash texture pack that took out their noses. All right, so I think we may just take a bunch of them here and put them all together for this next uh, showcase. So let's go ahead. We're gonna to grab this golden trident one uh, i don't think we need to grab a zenith one we already saw a zenith this one's very interesting because it's taking something from the calamity mod and making it a elytra which is very very cool some calamity mod love from minecraft um we do have a have ones that turn granite and marble and makes them look better but uh, i don't know we don't really need to see those same thing with a terra blade and muramasa one we don't really need to see terraria swords we don't really need to see the solar wings one i'm gonna pick up and the warp blocks to terraria corruption blocks i'm gonna pick up and then there's also another one like it netheraria i'm gonna pick this one up um there's this one right here cookies extra elytra which adds in a demon feather is that the only thing from terria that looks like that's the only thing the demon feather one uh yes i guess we will also pick this one up and then we'll pick up the uh the netheraria one too which also has crimson stuff very nice all right so we have the elytra one enabled the flame elytra wings the trident and then one of the nether ones enabled uh, I think the nether one we have enabled is the one that turns stuff into corruption. No crimson. But let's start with the elytra and trident. So, of course, the trident in Terraria, it's like Poseidon's gold trident. So, something I don't find myself using that often unless I get my hands on it. I feel like that's a lot of things in Terraria. You don't get your hands on it in a playthrough, you don't use it. But that's the exciting thing because that makes every playthrough different. But yeah. 
it's a trident uh, i don't know what you expect the tridents of minecraft are way cooler than terraria obviously uh you could chuck this thing everywhere if you have the right enchantments on it you can fly around with it when it's raining the tridents are pretty cool but they're a little too rare in minecraft to uh, really have fun with them next up the elytra the flame wings elytra to be exact look at that beautiful can i get up really high and then start flying i don't know how this is gonna be in creative but look at that oh yes this is what we like to see i don't get any fireworks on me but this is what we like to see who doesn't love elytra wings but yeah let's go ahead let's hop into the nether now you know i could have just made my own portal but why do that when i could just walk over here you know and use this already somewhat pre-set up portal look at that great okay i didn't make it tall enough we are in the nether let's hope it's not too hard to find the biome i'm looking for wait yeah it isn't hard because there's like a whole biome locator thing in the game now which is a beautiful feature okay i lied i thought it was a i thought it was a whole uh biome location feature maybe it is a biome location feature i'm just too dumb well i wouldn't say i'm too dumb like i said i barely keep up with minecraft updates but let me try and find this i feel like i'd have an easier time just randomly generating worlds and then going through new nether portals instead of physically looking oh here we go now i wouldn't say that this is corruption color at all i feel like this is way too light to be corruption corruption is definitely a dark purple well i don't know it's, it's sort of like a mix but definitely in terraria it feels dark and purple maybe it's just because i have fog turned off that it looks really weird the wood even looks green rather than like a darkish gray but still this is pretty cool uh, hopefully in the background i got some uh corruption music playing while we're here let's go ahead let's switch out some of our uh, resource packs here here we go now this is the purple i'm messing with here we switch to the other pack which i think is called netheraria looks way better and we can even see the crimson over here now the crimson colors i'm not messing with come on i think honestly the regular forest whatever the hell is called fungal forest looks better like that red looks better this this red is it's too light like in terms of minecraft i feel like the the more vivid colors look better but yeah let's go ahead let's check our back here okay never mind i took the elytra off oh there's the elytra these don't look like demon wings maybe i have to rename them i think i do there you go demon wings beautiful don't they look beautiful yes they do let's go ahead and fly here okay that, that was a terrible flight time come on go fall there we go beautiful look at them spread their wings like that i'm gonna crash into these fuckers <laughs> all right and let us check out the last one for this batch here i don't know how many i'm gonna check out all right here we go we got the elysian tracers is that how you say it let's go ahead and pop this baby on this is the optifying version i don't know what the difference is i don't know maybe it's the fact that we have to rename it i think that's what optifine does is the whole renaming thing which is honestly pretty cool let's go ahead and take flight with these things now these things are usually on your feet they're like they're like wing boots uh in the calamity mod but they still count as wings or they have a pair of wings so honestly it's kind of weird to see honestly that might be it because i feel like any further back we go we're going to a very 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 old time in minecraft uh actually honestly not that old this is a 1.10 one so for now that might be it for this video i am just checking out a uh, planet minecraft i'm not checking out another website well because planet minecraft was the first one that came up but yeah that's gonna be it for this video i got a bunch of cool minecraft exterior stuff planned for the future so be ready for that i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out all these resource packs because they're all they're all very nice shout out to everyone who created them i like them very very nice that you know people are adding stuff from terraria to minecraft i love to see it maybe in the future we'll get an official minecraft exterior collab who knows but yeah follow my twitch i'll see y'all next time